Hey everybody, this is Devin and Michelle Lavore coming, coming at, at ya. ya. <laughs> and today, guys, we want to talk to you about something profound that has taken place in our lives. And when I say, like, if you look at the title, it's not what you think. It really isn't what you think. It's really not what we thought either. But I'm going to tell you why that's totally okay. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I want to, because last video, I put this at the end, and I don't think a lot of people saw it. But I just wanted to remind you guys, and also thank you guys, that uh, we're kind of living on donations right now. Yeah. You know, we're living off of the uh, offerings that people are giving us. And so if you feel like you've been ministered to by this channel, please, you know, consider um, giving to us, um, hitting that donation button down there that says PayPal, and just giving whatever you can. And we so appreciate the extraordinary generosity yeah. that you guys have shown already. We appreciate it. But, you know, we're a family of six. And it's just like, ooh, thank you, drizzle, 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 done. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so we really appreciate it, but we just want to throw that out there up front um, and just say thank you, awesome, you guys are amazing, thank you in advance, okay? But um, why don't you talk about what, what, you've, been, what you've been experiencing lately? Because it's, it's really phenomenal what's yeah. been going on with both of us in our hearts because we don't like the heart work, right? We yeah. want the manifestation. We want the natural. We want the, like we talked about in our previous video, mm -hmm. but man, the hard work is way more important. Yeah. And that's what we're going to share with you and show you in this uh, video. So. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> basically, I, for me, God has really worked with me with when it comes to finances and um, really <laughs> trusting him that he is going to provide for us. And so we pretty much always, we tend to get to this point where we pretty much have hardly anything, barely anything in our cupboards. And like, we're just like, okay, you know, what's, what's going on? But I'm telling you, this is the very first time, yeah. the first time that yeah. has happened that I've not, that it hasn't sent me into this tailspin of, Freaking out. Freaking out. <laughs> like, Lord, what are we going to do? Yeah, or just even... We need miracles. Sending, <laughs> sending me to the point of like, okay, we're done with this. Like, let's figure out what we're going to do and all of that. Yeah. And that is really just God. Like, I have so much peace right now and so much just mm -hmm. complete and utter trust in God that He is going to provide for our needs and I don't really know how we can communicate with him yeah. how unbelievably unusual that is. Yeah. It yeah. is so unusual right now for us not to be completely freaking out. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? But well, we're just and not. Just, and like, normally, I don't really fully understand it myself. Yeah. I really don't. But it's just like, wow, God planted a seed and it's growing and it's just doing its thing. And this is just the natural yeah. result of allowing God to do in your life what he's going to do. You guys know me. I'm going to interrupt, so get used to it. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, really, like, we have been at this place, gosh, in just this year alone, like, probably six, at least six times. At least. At least. Where we literally can, you can look in our cupboards and it's like, you got a few things here. We've actually had a point where we had nothing in our cupboards <laughs> and pretty much nothing in the refrigerator. Yeah. And... And then, you know, God, he does come through. It's been different every time. Every time. And um, people will just give us random offerings. And we, because see, we have not asked, you know, putting up the uh, PayPal thing, that was difficult enough. But then getting to the place where you just have to ask and remind people and of did. your needs, that's difficult too. But well, it's like. Well, and it's been different in the sense of like, you know, when we first started, it was, you know, money that we had. And then, you know finding more money that, oh yeah, we do have, you know, this and that. And so we were basically used up everything we had. And then, you had know, we, sell some things. we sold some things. We yeah, really didn't want to sell. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we did, <laughs> we did end up, we, we, we asked some people, you know, people that we knew and, and things like that. And then, Parents helped out yeah. And, time. and so it's like, through it all, God has been 
providing for us. And for me, for a long time, it was just like, how how is this God? How is you know wrestling with that? But then whenever we'd get to that point, it would it really would send us into this tailspin of like maybe we're not doing what God wants us to do. Maybe we missed it. Maybe we need to do this and that. And it just you know and. For me, it was just this overwhelming sense of just fear mm -hmm. and anxiety. I mean, literally, it was, it was, you know, it could feel like it was just choking me out in the sense. It, was. it really was. And, <laughs> and even, choking you know. Choking the faith out of you. And Isaiah, he's two months old right now. And I'm telling Today. you, like, right, yeah. like, even right before his, like, the week before he was born, it was the same thing. And it was just like oh my gosh, like, what are we doing? Like, this is ridiculous. And, but it's been like... And then we're making videos about it and telling everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we're so in trouble, you know? And, <laughs> but anyway, it's like, for me, this has been the first time I've, I feel completely free from that. And, and let me just tell you, this isn't something that just started, like, this year. This has been ongoing. Really, for me... Gosh, decades. For, as, for as long as, <laughs> as, we've for known as long each as other. yeah, as long as we've known each other. But it's even before that, me. because I had money like in the bank, but I was always terrified of it disappearing. I was fearful of. I mean, I just I'm a saver anyway. But I would just save and save and save and like not touch it. And I would just you know even in, like every day I'd be like I don't have money. I can't do this. I can't do that. When really I could, but I was just so afraid of having the money go away and mm -hmm. it's just been this god he started the process a long time ago of just like of you know i really i mean we so many points where it was just like okay we don't have anything it's like when are we going to get out of this place of our lives yeah you know and then it's like we take these huge leaps of faith and it's just like, oh, you're bringing us down lower. <laughs> That's not awesome. You know what but, I mean? But it's I'm like... just, like, personally, though, it's like, if this is what it took for God to get me personally to the point where I can just trust him and I don't have to be afraid and, you know, that it's not going to sway my emotions and all of this, then praise the Lord. Because I'm telling you, like, the peace that I have in my heart, it's crazy. despite it's what crazy. our circumstances are telling it's us, beyond our understanding. it really is. It's, it's completely <laughs> beyond our understanding. And so, I mean, the last time this happened was like, it was like, we we're, we we're scrambling. You're, you're freaking yeah. out and you're scouring and scrambling to try to figure out what you're going to do. And it's like, it's like, wait a second. You, do you think God did not think this through? Yeah. You know? Particularly after you, it's it's at, it's that moment after you really know you've heard from the Lord, and you have that absolute confidence that like I have to do this, this yeah. is the direction I need to go in, whatever, and it's like after that, and it's like you gotta know like well, God's planned this out, but it's like it's easier said than done. Yeah. You know. So for me, my this is just an unbelievable, amazing breakthrough. I I honestly can say I, I wasn't expecting it. Surprise. Um, but it's just, I don't know, it brings, there is a joy there too because it's just like, you know what? I'm not, def I'm not going to allow myself to be affected by the things that I see around me. What I do see is looking at God and seeing what he is doing in our life. And it's very clear that it's like this this path that we're on is the path that God wants us on. He continually is speaking to us and and just, you know, and, and moving. And even if we don't see things yet in the natural, it's like, it's it's just a matter of time, yeah. really, before it comes. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. You know? It's like, what matters more is that my heart is at peace in an area of my life that has not had peace for literally decades. And it's like the scripture says, if you have food and clothing with those, you should be content basically like that's your base yeah. like if you have that you're good to go and yeah. we have that yeah. we have food we have clothing you know none of us are starving you know it's just like yeah. we we have what we need but it's just like it's a matter of like we know okay it's getting ready to run out so yeah. lord help you know what i mean it's like 
I feel like we got to the, we we're in a place now that I feel like God wanted the Israelites to get to when they got to the uh, when they were brought out of Egypt because mm -hmm. the, they were constantly freaking out yeah. every time they needed something they were freaking out and God and then it turns into an accusation against God yeah. you know and it's like a yeah. lot of times we've gotten really close to the threshold of accusation yeah <laughs> God you fill in the blank with yeah all kinds of well, erroneous things you know, and it says, about who he is. You before, know? it's always been, yeah, like you start wanting to accuse God of something and sending yourself into just... You let us out here to die. Yeah, like it's... Because it's a, clear that it was the Lord leading them. Yeah. It's like, oh, great, you brought us out here to die. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and then you start going back over, well, we should have done this and we should have done that and we should have... And it's like... What a trap. Yeah. So... <laughs> It is such a trap, and so for me, I'm super excited that this, I, it, I feel like it's just, it's over, you know, I'm just in this, you know, that God gave me a picture um, just with the journey that I would kind of, it was like the who is this coming out of the desert leaning on her beloved, and I really feel like for the first time, I am just really leaning on him, and because I am, there is just this deep trust that there is just a lot of peace and there's even joy in it even though it's like um have have you seen your cupboards because you know and it's like yeah i've seen them but i know who is with me i know that god is with me right there and he knows all of my needs you know and, and look at what he's done already yeah. you know it's like, I didn't want to set up the PayPal thing, but then I did. And it's like, he's like, thank you. Now I can start, you know, because people get touched by some of the things that we say. That's still a baffle to me personally. It's just like our story and what we're going through blesses people and they decide to give. And it's like, wow, that's awesome. I, I Devin, leaning on my own understanding, would not have thought that that would have happened. Mm -hmm. And see, that's one of those practical ways that God can use other people or use you and just work through the body of Christ to do something. You know, we think it has to be a literal parting of waters and it's like, no, just do what I'm asking you to do. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you feel like it or just, I don't like that. It feels uncomfortable. Or, I don't want to do that. And, well, I get, I get where you're coming from. Just like when we have kids, when you have kids, it's like, Hey, Joa, please do this. Well, I don't, oh, I don't want to, I'm telling it for your own good guy do yeah. it <laughs> yeah trust me it's going to lead to the very thing that you want and need to happen yeah you know mm -hmm. all if all if you just obey the lord if you just yeah. listen to him and obey and overcome yourself see and i think that's a lot of times if i can sidestep for a second i think that's a lot of times why people don't get a breakthrough or god doesn't do what you thought he was going to do because you did not obey him fully you did not really overcome yourself and do that thing, whatever it was. Or are you like, like God gave me a word of knowledge, I believe, for, for a lady. And I didn't do it because it was really weird. I already talked about this in another video. But I got the name Denise. I got the, uh, the date 11-14-67. Uh, and th then I saw a bag of Cheetos. And I'm like, uh, no. You know what I mean? Because it was too weird for me. It was too like, no, that's just too much. I'm not going to do that. Like the kind of life that we live. For some people, maybe God's calling them to do something equally crazy. But yeah. it's too crazy and they're like, no, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. And therefore the breakthrough and the thing that God wants to do in their lives, which will actually make them happy, doesn't happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Will you want to go ahead and share what God's been doing for you? Um, I will do that on the next video. <laughs> we'll make this video Michelle's story. Yeah. So look for the next video to see the amazing thing that God has done in my life. And trust me, it is amazing. Don't worry. It's not like you're going to get it tomorrow or the next day. We're just going to pause the camera and start over again. So this video isn't like three hours long. Yeah. So until next video. We'll see, see you later. <laughs>